If you have visited Orlando's Ivanhoe Village recently, you know how congested it can get. Well, now there's a plan to add more parking and improve pedestrian safety. Rescue's well, Marley Martinez tells us that plan and how businesses are responding. Over the past decade, Ivanhoe Village in Orlando has seen a surge in new residents and visitors. And while shop owners welcome the business, they're also feeling the impact of congestion. People come by really fast on their motorcycles and their cars, and it's like everybody wants to rev their motor when they come by. Tony Smith is the owner of the Lucky Lure Bar and the Florida Room Restaurant on North Orange Avenue. He says a couple of his friends have gotten hit by cars. He got his, both his legs broken, and then an impatient driver behind him spin around and hit him like on the other lane over there. That's why he's excited to see what the Florida Department of Transportation has in store. FDOT is designing an improvement plan for Orange Avenue between Magnolia Avenue and Rollins Street. Part of the plan is to change the outside lanes into parking with extended curbs and landscaped islands to help with safety. And already you can see it's almost full. Around yeah, here. parking's parking's really limited right here. Yeah. More spaces is what Ski World of Orlando needs. Manager Jackson Roach is excited about the plan. I think it's going to be great for the neighborhood. There's no parking really around here at the moment. Another part of the plan is increasing pedestrian safety, like adding a raised intersection and crosswalk right here at the busy intersection of Orange Avenue and Ivanhoe Boulevard. It'd be nice to see a crosswalk or something like that for pedestrians because it's so dangerous for people to cross over. I think that would be the biggest thing to improve. FDOT is still in the design phase and plans to start construction in early 2024. In Orlando, Marley Martinez, WESH 2 News. And the total cost of the project is expected to be $3.9 million. FDOT is asking for public input.